In July 2022, the Mines and Energy Committee of Parliament took notice of a report from Imani and ASAP regarding the gas sale agreement between GNPC and Gensa Energy. The report of the committee has since been made public after 11 months. The report essentially endorses the deal and forms the computational methodology based on which the CSOs arrived at the $1.5 billion loss. Ranking member of the committee, John Jinapo, however, disagrees with the findings of the report. He wants the chairman to withdraw it for further consideration. So I assume that what the chairman has issued is a non-starter. It should be withdrawn, taken back to the joint committee. Let's interrogate the issues. This time we are looking at the mines and energy, which has a technical wing, and then the finance committee who would look at the economic and commercial wing of it. And that will give a better perspective in respect of this whole agreement. The Senior Staff Association of Ghana Gas also indicates that the deal is not in the interest of the country. According to a statement issued by the group, there are concerns about why the transportation of an important natural resource should be handled by a private entity. Chair of the committee, however, has declined further comment on the report.